Have you ever heard someone say, "Clouds are just water vapor"? Well, next time you'll be able to correct them. Hi everyone, my name is Siham, and today I'll be talking about clouds. Well, while it's true that clouds contain water, they actually are made of water vapor. If they were, then you wouldn't be able to see them. In fact, clouds are made of water droplets or ice crystals. And now let me explain to you how the process actually works. When the sun warms the ground, water on the earth evaporates and it turns into invisible vapor that rises until it reaches colder air high in the sky. Now, as the altitude increases, the temperature decreases. So naturally, the warm air cools and it condenses to change into a liquid again. Now, since water vapor cannot turn into droplets on its own, it sticks to some very tiny particles floating around the air, such as dust, salt, or ice, also known as aerosols. Now, these water droplets collide and hit each other to create bigger and bigger droplets and eventually make a cloud. And now let's do an experiment which demonstrates how a cloud forms. Now for this experiment, you need to pour just a little bit of alcohol into your bottle and rotate it many times just like that. Now close your bottle and start pumping. And you can ask someone to help you. Now what happens here is that by pushing air into the bottle, the pressure increases causing water evaporation. Now once you open the bottle, the high pressure went to low pressure and then immediately water vapor condenses and that's how our amazing cloud forms. Now, did you know that the average fluffy cloud weighs over 1 million pounds? Imagine, that's huge, right? Now the question that you might be asking is how something so massive stay floating up in the sky and not falling down to earth? Well, even though clouds are made of billions and billions of water droplets, which you would rightfully expect to fall just like everything else, they are so small and so light that even the gentlest gush of hot air coming from the Earth's heated surface is enough to push them up and keep them afloat. But be careful, when a droplet becomes too heavy and large, it drains and then you may get all wet.